Some of us went a little plant wild this year and houseplants are still having quite a moment in the spotlight. But with temperatures dropping, all those tropicals you picked up during the warm months aren't going to love the coming Canadian winter. So we got some expert advice on how to make sure your summer romance with plants doesn't turn into a tragedy. If you're bringing plants from outdoors indoors around this time or even a little bit before, there's things that you need to do to kind of get them ready. Julia Rago, better known as Toronto Plant Girl, has quickly become one of the city's most popular plant consultants. She says the first step is checking for pests and pest prevention. Spraying the plant down or showering the plant down and removing that old soil, which is where bugs actually lay their eggs. Mm -hmm. It's a very crucial, crucial step um, to winterizing your plants. Julia says the best way to make sure you get rid of any unwanted guests in the soil is to repot the plant in a container that's about two inches bigger than the previous one. It's also a good time to check in on root health. And when we take it out of the nursery pot, you can see all those roots. These, this is what you want to see. You want to see really thick, uh, you know, cream white colored roots. Once you loosen the roots, snip off dead or dying leaves and place the plant in a new pot with more soil, Julia suggests three quick steps to set it up for success through the winter. Next, I'm going to be adding a natural fertilizer. Then I'm going to be adding uh, diamaceous earth powder just on the soil. This is a natural uh, pest killer. Now the most important part, I'm going to be using an insecticidal spray uh, as a preventative method just because it was outside and you're bringing it in. You don't want to infect any of your other plants in your collection. Give it a good watering and you're all set. But Julia warns that watering needs do change in the winter. You also want to make sure that you're watering a little bit less. So if you were used to, you know, once a week water schedule or once every two weeks, you're going to want to kind of uh, windle that back a bit to maybe once every three weeks. For more tips and a step-by-step -step guide on how to winterize your plants, you can go to our website, citynews.ca. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.